Well, today on Bike Geeks, we're going to take a peek at these in-bike gloves that I purchased for a trip that I was going on. Hey guys, welcome to Bike Geeks. So, today we're going to do a quick dab into some gloves that I kind of was going through a lot of gloves. The gloves I really wanted were about 80 bucks, and I just didn't really want to spend out 80 bucks specifically because it's my first set of riding gloves. And this whole experience that I'm doing with the motorcycle right now is learning the ropes of, the, of all the gear and stuff that you want to you want to have. Uh, I'm not crazy about all the safety gear you know i don't really wear long sleeve sh stuff and i don't really put pads in my pants but i'm getting better i guess at it that said i did want to get a pair of gloves because more than anything i want something to protect my hands um so i found these these were 28 bucks on amazon from inbike and uh they have the knuckle protectors right and they had uh, some high vis stuff on them, which matches my high vis helmet and my my bike's a little closer to high vis, I guess. But um, but yeah, so I got these gloves, twenty eight bucks. I was hoping that they were gonna work out well. Um, I ordered the size that I thought I needed, and I think I ordered the right size because I've tried on mediums, large, extra large. Uh, in most gloves, I'm usually a medium, um, but motorcycle gloves definitely fit really tight, and so uh, these are larges. Um, and they, uh, my hand fits in here snugly, but not loosely, right? So uh, I have tried on some extra larges, and my hands are just too small for extra large. So sitting here, right, putting them on my hands, they feel actually pretty good. They give you the, the kind of the wraparound kind of feel to, to where you're going to grab the levers. You can feel the protection of the actual uh, knuckle protectors. And that is where things started, uh, I think, you know, they 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 looked promising um i have ridden with these one time and i did not take them on my ride because more than anything after you have them on your hands or at least in my case after i had this on my hands for about 20 minutes they start getting annoying um and i understand that when you're talking about breaking in of gloves it's like anything. You're breaking in footwear. You're breaking in anything that's new, specifically that's out of a leather or at least a, a fake leather material or anything. They take a while to really form to your hand, right? Because you're not a nobody has a universal hand. Um, but the stitching on the inside was like rubbing on my fingers the wrong way, and I don't see how that's ever going away. Specifically, the stitching at the very tips of the fingers. I actually ripped them off mid-ride at a stoplight because my hand was actually starting to be uncomfortable. I was not, I'm not used to riding uncomfortably. So uh, I took them off and immediately everything was way better. Uh, my daughter was actually riding with me and I was just like, I, I gotta get these off. And I threw them in my pantier bag um, and then we continued on. So maybe they just don't fit my hands and that could be very well it. Or maybe I just had a glove with a bad stitch line on the tips of the fingers, um, but the stitching that's on the tips is what's causing the discomfort. Um, and it's, you know, maybe I'm in between a large and an extra large on, in their specific glove, and I haven't tried their specific extra large in this specific glove. But this is not a glove that I want to make high recommendations for. Now it's 28 bucks, right? I'm not expecting the end all be all of glove. And to be honest about it, I'm probably going to just break the bank and go a little bit more expensive to get a pair of gloves that I'm wanting to wear riding. Uh, and that's the key. If I don't want to wear while I ride, probably not going to wear it when I ride. Um, you know, it's just who I am. So let me bring it in here and get a little close shot so you can actually see them, see what you think of them. Um, and then we'll go from there. So you can see here... Um, the glove, the pay, you know, they actually have a good amount of uh, material built up there for, I mean, it's going to last a, while, a little while. It's got the nice uh, terry cloth there for wiping sweat off or uh, cleaning off your uh, visor or whatever. You can actually quick do a wipe and it's a soft cloth material. Um, like I said, the 
knuckles are that there's like a hard pl plastic layer underneath. Uh, you can actually get underneath those. Um, and then it's that kind of a leather cover. It's probably a fake leather cover, but it might be. And then just Velcro here at the wrist. There is little tabs here. Um, these were kind of for when they shipped it for the, you know, putting it together on the, on the packaging. And when you put it on, uh, it's, I mean, it's, I'm not, it's not loose. You know, I don't have it loose. It's definitely not loose. And it's, it's just, it's where they stitch be between the, the palm fabric, the, and the top fabric, and then the in between those two stitch lines right there. Um, they get really annoying. I mean, more annoying than I've ever had with any gloves before, which is kind of crazy because you always have those stitch lines, but I don't know why it caused that. It, it, it caused an issue where I had to get the gloves off. I just was so uncomfortable. Now it could be, you know, the you got the knuckle guard here, which tightens things up, especially when you, you squeeze your grip, right? You can feel that tension because this is a hard piece of plastic that's not going to budge at all. It's not going to give them any flex. And maybe that's what it is. They just need to add a little more flex material in here. But, you know, you do have that flex from the side of each finger. It's kind of weird. Uh, it's just, right? And it was mainly... Um, these three fingers were the only ones that really had an issue. I never really didn't have a whole lot of the thumb or the pinky, but mainly these three fingers. Um, and it could just be my my hands are slightly longer than what they created these gloves for. Because I mean, there's I have plenty of space in my pinky. You can kind of see that. But the other three, I, I'm fit basically all the way to the tip. Um, but it's not like if I sit here, it's not too tight. And if I do this, it's not too tight, but it's just the constant, you know, squeezing of the grips just got it to the point where I was, I was done with them. But that is what she looks like. And maybe I can actually get one of these fingers to come out with me. Let's see if I can get it to do it. Take a peek at what the stitching line looks like. And there's, a, I mean, it's. Yeah, I mean, it's a thick, look at that stitch, I mean, it's quite a bit of fabric in there. And the same thing with the tip, I bet. Yeah, there's a lot of loose fabric up in there. And that's what's causing the discomfort, at least in my opinion, or in my experience. But yeah, if I'm not going to be comfortable with them, I'm just not going to ride with them. And that's kind of what happened is I was going with no gloves. And then I just threw up on a pair of my mechanics gloves for my trip. Um, and I didn't even ride them that all the time. And those aren't uncomfortable. They, you know, they're a rubberized palm, so they don't have the protection like you should have. But, yeah, that's, uh, that's my take on these. Now, look, I get it. For 28 bucks, I shouldn't have been expecting some fantastic glove. I wasn't expecting a very uncomfortable glove. So, uh, that, with that said, I wrote them very 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 little and they're going back um but that said my next pair of gloves probably gonna go a little more higher i'm not gonna go into the cheap bin i was just trying to get something by for a trip that i was going on in the end i didn't even take them um now i understand people look out there wow that guy's not wearing gloves wow that guy's not wearing an armored pants or an armored jacket and there's going to be a whole variety of people out there that will ride with different amounts of protection some people are okay with taking a little more risk than others um and some people are very confident in themselves of course i understand that you're you're probably not going to be as confident with the other driver that's going to pull in front of you um, but you do what you can it's calculated risk with any whenever you're talking about riding in, in general um i always ride with a helmet uh, I have a high-vis helmet, and I will always ride with uh, a certain amount of, of things. But gloves um, is something I definitely want to get a good pair of ventilated gloves, at least, that aren't going to get too hot, but gives you at least some protection, uh, skidding protection, things like that. Just, it helps. And then, of course, it also helps with the comfort on the grip. So it just gives you that little extra vibration resistance, too. So the end bike gloves here. I'm not going to recommend, but I am going to put a link down below so you can take a peek at them yourself um, and you can see what I don't recommend. So uh, hopefully I'll have a set of gloves in the near future that I will recommend. I like having products I can recommend. Uh, but that said, guys, 28 bucks, not, not worth it in my book. So 
Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming to Bike Geeks. And we're going to continue this trend of more videos. If you have any questions at all, comment below or head over to actually thebikegeeks.com and you can actually contact me directly through there. Uh, or if that website isn't fully functional for some weird reason, uh, comment below or yeah, you can head over to social media, Bike Geeks or The Bike Geeks. Anyways, comment. Uh, like the video, share this video, give it a thumbs up, and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. So, we'll catch you back here for a future video review or setup, whichever comes first. And we'll see you soon. Thanks for stopping by.